here you can see I've cut the wood to length and I made drawings about those intersections I was talking about earlier like uh, the first cut I'm going to make is this red cut and I've got red lines indicating where that cut ends and begins I've measured how far from the top I want the cup to be and how far from the bottom I want the base to be and then the second cut is indicated by that blue line there so I flipped it over and the blue cut will be here I've done quite a bit of study and measuring to figure out how I made them at first so this is what I'm doing now now I will take all of this to the lathe and start pressing in the points of the of the axes that I'll use to finish this project with and drill the hole for the candle I wanted to take a minute to talk about the tips I use the, for the drive center on the headstock and on the tailstock. This is a small, it has uh, for the head center the four prong drive shaft. It's about a, a half of an inch in diameter. It has four really sharp prongs on it. And it digs into the wood and holds it very well, but if there is a catch, there's not enough wood involved that it can't slip around. So I prefer this for all of my, uh, my multi-axis turnings. And of course this uh, tail center, live tail center, is fabulous because it has a cup that's about oh, a little a half inch, I suppose, and a tip on it. But it gives you a lot of room to get in and uh, get around it when you're doing work. A couple of things I do to try to get these axes as accurately placed as I can is that after I locate them on the diagonal, then I use an ice pick and a mallet and I hammer a hole in each one. A lot of times when I'm trying to put a big piece of wood on the lathe, I can't really get the axis the way I want. Now after I've pressed all the holes on each end for the uh, finishing axes, I put the piece between centers and I use it as a drill press. I use the tool rest as a block so that the drill can't twist it down so I don't have to hurt my hands. And then uh, I have marked the, the bit about the depth of cut, where I want the depth of cut. So right now I'll turn the lathe on slowly. And uh, proceed. Okay, well this is what it looks like now. I've prepped the wood, I've marked the finishing axes, I've drilled the holes. Now I'm ready to glue it up and the way I glue it up is I use my hot glue gun and I put a little dab uh, of glue to secure it and then I wrap it with uh, packing tape. Okay, now this has been glued up and uh, I'm ready to put it on the lathe. I wanted to point out that I use a very big four prong drive center on the headstock so that uh, it can grasp the ends of all four pieces. here it is. Um, I think that's going to work so I think I'm ready to take it off and turn it around 180 degrees.
Now they're arranged 130 degrees apart so that now when we glue all of these together I'll be turning the opposite side of the one that's already turned. If you've done it correctly this is the way it should look. getting there. Okay, here it is. Pretty much finished until I take it apart and start turning each one of them. Now I'm carefully going to separate these. They become quite fragile. I think together they add a lot of strength to each other. Um, but I want to be real careful now taking them apart. The axis between the headstock and the tailstock has a lot of air between it. So we can't really use a lot of pressure pushing it together. It's come in here and create a circle where that is. So So I come in try to make very light cut looks like. It's a difficult cut to make because your tool sort of gets caught right between these pieces of wood here. But now, now I've taken this to the bandsaw and I've cut off as much wood as I can safely cut off on the top because now we'll be doing this axis. like starting the top I don't turn it on very fast and I just use a small bow gouge sharp tip and rough it out very lightly taking very light working it down to the round. Okay, well here's how it looks on top. I think the mistake I made was I put the cup too close to the edges. I should have backed it back a little bit. So that leaves me a little more carving to do there. But over here, this looks pretty good. I won't have to carve too much in here. So, all in all, I think it's okay. I have three more to make. I usually break one out of four. So we'll just see how it all goes.